In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quote calculator in Wix. Unfortunately, since Wix doesn't support this functionality by default, what we need to do is use a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the Elf site platform. Once you've clicked on the link, this is the page that you're going to see. From here, I'm going to head over to the top of the page, which is where you'll find this widget button. Simply hover over it, and then underneath forms right here, I'm going to click on calculator. Then you'll be taken to the calculator widgets page, and if you scroll down a bit from here, you will see this button. Click on it. Then you'll be taken to the calculator template section. From here, I'm going to scroll all the way down until we find the cost calculator section here. Click on that, and then option number four will be price quote calculator. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, this calculator might be on page two, three, or four, or whatever. So go ahead, find the template. I want you to click on it, and then on the right hand side here, you will see the default price quote calculator. This is what it looks like, but bear in mind that we can actually customize both the design and the functionality of the calculator, so it doesn't need to be uh, the way you see it right now. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next section. So yeah, once you've selected the template, go ahead and click on continue this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. And then this is the page where we can start customizing both the uh, front end and the back end of the calculator. So on the left hand side, as you can see, our fields here. And if you scroll down a bit more, you will see calculations. So the fields here basically reflect the input that you can provide into the calculator. And the calculations here are the formulas that help support the final outcome based on the input that you provide in the calculator. Now, uh, you can actually add different fields and calculations if you want to. You can customize individual calculations and fields. You can also delete them if you'd like to. So just to show you, uh, let's go to the calculations here. For example, this one, let's just suppose we want to change this formula. You can use these uh, buttons right here to create the formula that you want. Alternatively, if you don't know how it works, go ahead, click on generate with AI here. Briefly describe what kind of functionality you're looking for and then click on generate and then the AI will automatically give you the formula for the functionality that you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the functionality of the calculator. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, in terms of design, on the left hand side, you will see style and settings. These are all the customizations that you can make to your calculator's design. So for example, let's just suppose we don't want this line to be blue, we want it to be orange. Go to field accent color right here and change that to orange. And as you can see, it automatically takes effect right here. And yeah, I'm not going to go through every single uh, design customization that you can make. I'll leave this up to you to kind of like explore and build the perfect quote calculator for your needs. But yeah, once you're ready to move forward, go ahead and click on add to website for free in the bottom left corner of the screen. And then your quote calculator will be saved up. And then you'll be taken to this page right here, which is where we now need to publish the calculator. So in the top right corner of the screen, click on publish right here, and then you'll automatically be taken to the plans page. This is what the plans page looks like. And what we need to do here is choose a plan. Now, since this is the first widget that we're creating through Elf site, we can actually go for this plan right here, which is completely free. As you can see, it supports one widget for up to 200 views. So if you're just starting out, this might be the perfect plan for you. Alternatively, if you want to look more functionalities, if you want to use more than one widget uh, in Wix, or if you want to uh, show your core calculator to more than uh, 200 people, as you can see, then you can obviously go for one of the premium plans right here. They have quite a few different options that you can go with. And if you choose to uh, subscribe annually, you also get to save quite a bit of money which is pretty nice. But yeah, once you've selected the plan that works best for you, you will then automatically be taken to the page where you can copy the code for your quote calculator. It will look just like this. From here, click on copy code and let's head over to Wix so we can start integrating it. Now, the first thing you wanna do is head over to your Wix editor and go to the page where you want your quote calculator to be added to. In my case, I want the quote calculator to be added to my homepage. As you can see, I'm already here and I've actually got a separate section for it specifically. So from here, what you wanna do is go to the top right corner of the screen and click on the search button and then search for HTML. Give it a couple of seconds to load. And then underneath add to site here, I want you to click on embeds. Then on the left hand side, you will see a new window open up. Underneath popular embeds, click on embed HTML and then an HTML box will be added to your page. From here, simply paste the code we copied previously from L side, give it a couple of seconds and then click on update. And then your core calculator will be added to your Wix website. So all you have to do now is go ahead and resize it. I've just resized my calculator and this is what it looks like. Super nice and clean. As you can see, it's also fully functioning. Uh, don't worry about this uh, little thing that pops up right here on the top. This is visible just for you, just in case you want to make any changes to the calculator in the future. If I just click on it, it just takes you to Elf side, as you can see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to create a quote calculator in Wix. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.